Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video and welcome to another travel vlog. I am going to take you guys through how I prepare for traveling and staying on plan as I prepare for my trip to Prague. It's something that I'm asked a lot about with clients when they travel, how to stay on plan, with their food, training, finding gyms, all of that sort of thing. So I thought I would just run through how I do it because I've done it so often for prep and various other trips that I think it might be useful to just share kind of some of my top tips when traveling and trying to stay on plan, whether you are dieting in an improvement phase or whatever it is that you are embarking on. So the first thing that I think is really important is your flights. First and foremost, think about when you are traveling, what time of day and how that's gonna impact your current schedule. Because if you are following a pretty structured routine for food, training, cardio, all that kind of thing, it's important to take that into account so that you limit the amount of stress and you can stay on plan as much as possible. So my flight to Prague leaves at 7.30 tonight and lands at midnight Prague time. Um, so I have switched around my training schedule a little bit this week. I've trained today, which is Wednesday, when I would normally rest, just so that I can rest if I need to tomorrow, based on flights and landing and how tired I might feel. Um, and because of the time of the flight, it's pretty much around my bedtime, I go to bed at like 8.30, 9 o'clock. So I've been able to eat all my normal meals up until flight, and then I'll have my last meal on the plane, which I'll pack and take with me. I'll take my nighttime subs with me, which I'm about to prepare now, and then I will land, go to sleep, and then wake up and start my day as normal. So the first thing I've done is laid out all of my supplements to take with me. So my normal kind of vitamins, minerals, all that kind of thing. I've got extra vitamin C, B complex for Lucy, and I've also got another natural kind of diuretic for her as her kind of like water cut. I've got my greens and in this big tower I've got my creatine, glutamine and then the top one I've got collagen. So I know the top one's collagen but it does look slightly different consistency and it's like a vanilla bean flavour so I know that that's collagen but I take glutamine and creatine daily and then collagen twice a day and then I've put and measured out my supplements for the morning to take with me in my handbag to have first thing in the morning when I wake up so I don't have to find this in my luggage somewhere and then I've also got my nighttime subs to have on the plane they're all in there now we do have a lot of pre-workouts and intras and all of this kind of stuff going on over here I'm not going to take any pre-workout with me but I am going to measure out my intra because I do have 20 grams of carbs and 10 grams of EAs so I'm going to show you how I do that now so I use this little pot scooped out my uh, intra carbs and my EAs and then I popped them into these little jiffy bags. So I've only got four training sessions until my next rest day when I'm back in Dubai. So I'm going to put those into another little jiffy so I know that they're my intra but it's pretty obvious what they are. And then the next thing I'm moving on to is my food. 210 grams of cashew butter in the tub going on the plane with me. And I've got 210 grams because I've got 30 times seven. What's next, guys? What's next? Next up is the fun stuff, cream of rice and whey. And we've just had an order in from JP. Oh my goodness. So we've got like a banoffee cream of rice, this birthday cake one, peanut butter cup. Oh, so I've got to pack a ton of cream of rice and I've got to pack enough whey for every day as well. But now I'm like, do I pack the different 80 grams of cream of rice into separate little jiffies? Or do I just bung it all in one? Because I've got to like pack, I think it's something like 640 grams. I've got four training sessions. Four <laughs> times eight. No, that's wrong. Four days times eight, so it's eight times eight. Yes, 64, that is right. 640 grams. So mm, I'm wondering. Do I pack it all in one and then worry about scales or should I just pack them all in separate little jiffies? Why is it so hard to find this scooper? Oh my God. I don't think there is one in here. Oh wait, got it. Oh. Found it. So as you can see what I do, so as you can see what I do here is I pop a bowl on the scales and I pop the bag on and then 
I pop the whey and the cream of rice in there. It's the easiest way to kind of just weigh it out. And now I have everything ready to go. We have a ton of cream of rice. We have all of my whey. My sups are behind. Uh, I've got my nut butter. And I actually need to get my next meal. My rice cakes, nut butter, my apple. Um, I'm gonna buy fresh fruit when I'm there and obviously rice cakes when I'm there because they will crush. But all of my other food sources are in the freezer. Very, very grateful to Raw Foods for sending me all of my meals in advance in separate vacuum sealed bags. So I've got all my steak, my chicken, my mash all weighed out in separate bags. So I froze them last night when they arrived and I will pack them into the hold luggage and they will defrost on the way to Prague. And as soon as I get there, pop them in the fridge and then I am good to go for the whole week. Still in love with rice cakes and nut bar. What's not to love? That literally took me less than 20 minutes. And I did decide to weigh everything out separately because if you don't know where you're going and you don't know if you've got scales or you're not gonna go to the supermarket and buy food scales, just weigh it all out if you can take it. And I've got 23 kilos worth of hold luggage and I'd say about 10 kilo of that's gonna be my food. But I am very serious about my goals and I don't want any variables. You know, I have traveled before where I've done like if it's macros and that's fine, but I've got very specific goals and I've made such great progress over these last 14 and a bit weeks that I know I can stay on plan if I just prepare in advance, take that extra time to pack the things that I need, be super organized so I don't have to stress. You know, the variables when I'm traveling are going to be a different gym environment and a different time zone. That's gonna affect my training, it's gonna affect my work schedule. So if I can be 100% on point with my food, then I know that I'm gonna still make progress. So that is all my sups and my food done. I just need to weigh out my dry rice. I'm actually gonna pack that too um, because I use a specific brand of rice. And then I'm going to eat this meal and then I'm going to spend about 20 minutes packing my clothes. Okay, packing is almost done and I tend to categorize my clothes and just think, right, cardio, gym clothes, what I'm wearing to Lucy's show, cash outfit, potential going out outfit, trainers to train in, my check-in stuff for Monday, cardio trainers, other trainers to train in, which I'm also going to wear to the airport in my new tracky set from Riderwear. I'll also probably travel home in that as well. So I've just got to get it all in to this case and leave this whole space for food. A little while later, I've packed it all in here. This space is free and I've just tested the weight and we worked out that it's 17 kilos now, which is perfect because my food I think weighs like five, five and a half. So I think we're spot on. So that is me pretty much all packed and that tends to be how I pack everything when I travel. I start with like my sups, my food, then I go into like clothes, toiletries, and now the last thing for me to pack is my work stuff, which is always the last thing to go into my hand luggage because I'm normally responding to emails and doing bits of work right up until I leave. So that will go into my hand luggage and then I will catch you guys at the airport. And this is what we're dealing with at the airport. <laughs> She she decided <laughs> she decided she was gonna bring the teddy that she won in Dubai all the way back to Prague, but we've managed to uh, bagsy three seats in a row somehow. <laughs> Absolute jammy dodger! Oh my goodness! So as you can see, we're just at the gate now, about to board. I need to get my last meal in. We were supposed to board at about six thirty. It's coming up to seven, so I'm gonna eat my last meal, and I'm definitely gonna put the camera away and. Yeah, catch this flight, hopefully get some snoozies and we will see you when we get to Prague. Okay guys, so it is now the next day. It is Thursday the 14th of April, it's 10 to nine. We landed at about midnight last night or early hours of this morning. And by the time we got back to Monica's, which is where I'm staying in this absolutely gorgeous apartment, we went to bed and then my body woke me up at like quarter past four. So I just got up, I meal prepped my cream of rice, got my eggs ready, and then I actually took a long walk to Lucy's gym, which is my client who is competing this weekend. So I left 
Monica's apartment about 5 a.m. and then got to her gym by about six. It was a nice hour walk in the morning, which was lovely because I got to walk across like the bridge and the river and just kind of get some fresh air. It was very brisk and chilly. Checked in Lucy, she's looking very, very good. I'm really happy with how she's looking at three days out. And then I did my own cardio. I went to Lidl's, picked up some fresh bits. So like my rice cakes, my apples, my fresh fruit, all that kind of thing. And now I need to shower from cardio, eat my first meal, and then I'm going to head to train myself before training Lucy later this afternoon. So that kind of concludes my vlog for packing and preparing to travel. Sometimes your day will get kind of pushed back a bit. So like normally I have my first meal at 7 a.m. and it's now nine, but I will still get all my meals in. I'll still train, did my cardio. I've done all my steps. Um, and yes, my food did survive. I unpacked my food in the suitcase that was from Raw Foods and some of it was still frozen, so it's perfect. So I've popped it all in the fridge now and I'll just take out each packet as I need to reheat and have as the days progress. So I hope you found this vlog useful. I will definitely be vlogging more in Prague over the next few days and definitely Lucy's show as well. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you found it useful. Don't forget to like, subscribe, do all of the good things, drop a comment down below and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.